We've now learned how to use MATLAB to act as a calculator with many built-in mathematical functions and the capability to store intermediate results in variables which we name. This enables us to break a complicated calculation into a potentially long sequence of simple steps. Script files are really useful in this context. Script files are text files created with the MATLAB text editor or in fact any text editor. They contain many lines of MATLAB expressions and assignments and they're named using a .m extension. You can execute all the lines of the script file sequentially by simply typing the file name at the MATLAB prompt. So if the file name is computetraj.m then typing computetraj and hitting return causes all of the instructions in the file to be executed. I like to think of script files as one easy route to following the adage show your work. Remember the computer only does what you command it to do. Each line of code you write is a representation of your work. The code really by itself automatically documents your thought process. This is really relevant for your other science and engineering courses where some homework problems involve long sequences of calculations. Documenting them in a script file where the calculations are actually performed is a great way to show your work. Saving your code in a script file enables you to rerun it at any time, to modify it, maybe fix errors or enhance its capabilities, and rerun it again without doing much work, and finally to transfer it to someone else for their own use or in order to help you expand its capabilities. Let's look at a really simple example script file to get going in this process. Here I've named it myscript.m. Remember we mentioned all script files end with the .m extension. Here's a comment, my first script file. Then another comment, compute circumference of a circle with radius 2.4. Here's a MATLAB assignment, assigning the number 2.4 to the variable radius. The circumference is assigned 2 times pi times the radius. Another comment, print the circumference. And then the MATLAB command, disp circumference. That's the script file. Let's look at it in a little more detail. First of all, blank lines are fine to have in a script file, and you can often use them to improve the readability of the file. Lines that begin with percent signs are called comments. Comments have the property that all characters past the percent are ignored. There's actually a little more going on, and we'll see that in a few slides. And using comments to describe the code makes it easier for you to understand it later and also makes it easier for someone else who's using or modifying this file to understand what's happening. Now this is a particularly simple one, but you should get in the habit of writing good, clear comments. All right, let's go try this in MATLAB. The command type shows the contents of a file. There it is, as we saw on the slides. My first script file, compute the circumference, two assignments to the radius and their circumference, and then finally the circumference is printed with the DISP command. Let's try it. We type the name of the script file and press return. And there the circumference is displayed. Let's make sure that that number is correct. 2 times pi times 2.4. And it is. So by typing the name of the script file, we executed all the lines of code in that script file. Three of the lines were comment lines, which means nothing is executed. And three of the lines were functional. Two assignments followed by a disp. Now let's go back to the slides and see how the script file was created using the MATLAB editor. 